Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can render different type of animations using X-Ray. The very first type of the animation is of course the mesh and light movement. And this is going to be things like this. Where an object actually moves, it casts a, a shadow and on the environment and on itself. And they can uh, have the option to have animated reflection or just use a static reflection. And another example would be things like uh, simulations, things like Bifrost simulations. So uh, this is also a very uh, beautiful example of uh, using X-Ray for animated objects. And it supports uh, pretty much every type of animation, whether it is joints, blend shapes, uh, vertex animation, or uh, anything. As long as it is a polygon object and it has UV, uh, X-Ray can uh, render its animation. And uh, let's see if I have another example. And, and these two were uh, the example of animated object. As for light, it can be something like this, where a light just moves around the scene, it casts the animated shadow on the objects in the scene. And in this scene we can also see that we have this nice effect where the keys are lit up on the shadow area. Uh, I will see if I can cover it in this video and if not uh, I will make a separate video just for this uh, example. Uh, after that we have camera animation that is pretty much uh, the basic walkthrough animation that you see everywhere or just a simple camera animation like the one uh, that we have here. So next we have light attribute and reflection animation. Uh, the light attribute animation is when uh, the light doesn't move and uh, neither any object but the light intensity and light color changes. And the reflection animation is when the uh, again the, uh, no object moves in the scene but the reflection seems like it is moving or you feel like a, a light or something is moving, the cast reflection on the object is animated. And uh, these are actually uh, very common in uh, many commercial videos, for example those that you see on, for, uh, on Microsoft videos or Google or Apple. So for example here, uh, in this sort of animations, or here when the reflection just seems like it is uh, animated. Uh, these things are very easy to uh, create in X-Ray and for things like this you don't really need to bake anything. Uh, just a, a static bake will do and the rest is uh, just camera animation or uh, changing the attributes and we will take a look at those. So one example of uh, the light attribute animation would be something like this. And as you can see, we have this cool animation. And unlike the object uh, and light movement animation, where you bake those objects uh, for all the frames, for this type of animation, you don't really need to do that. You just use Light Mixer, which we will take a look at in a few minutes. And uh, for the reflection animation, it is going to be very useful for things like uh, automotives, where you have this sort of animations. And this is also uh, quite easy. It is pretty much just um, baking the main reflection of the objects and just rotate it around. And uh, Applying the same thing on this uh, DJI camera with the reflection movement and the light mixer, we can get something like this. And finally, we have shadow mask. So this is for the scenes where there are a lot of uh, objects around and you need to, you have animated character that casts a shadow on many objects so instead of uh, baking all of those objects uh, for all the frames which can be very time consuming 
you can just use shadow mask. I don't see that I have any example around here. Uh, uh, you can just, uh, for example, like this one. Instead of uh, baking every single object, we can use a shadow mask. Uh, so let's uh, get right to it from the very beginning. 